Have you seen the ads targeting men with low T? A growing number of men are using testosterone replacement therapy, but experts caution little is known about how that impacts their broader health, specifically the heart. The FDA required the makers of testosterone therapies to conduct safety trials, and tonight one of the study sites is sharing the results. The study involved about 5,000 men between the ages of 45 and 80 with low testosterone. Participants had heart disease or were at high risk for it. They were all experiencing symptoms of low testosterone, such as decreased sexual desire, loss of body hair, and depression. The participants were split into two groups. One received testosterone gel and the other a placebo. Dr. Stephen Nissen led the research at the Cleveland Clinic question we were asking was, were there more cardiovascular events in men who were getting testosterone compared to men who were getting a placebo? The answer is that there were not. They were almost identical numbers of events in the placebo group and in the men taking testosterone. The men were only followed for 21 months, so there's no data on long-term risks. While they didn't find an increased risk of heart attack or stroke, Nissen cautions there are other safety concerns. There were, was a higher rate of venous thromboembolism, that's clots in the legs. Uh, it wasn't a large number, but it was, you know, an imbalance uh, toward testosterone. And in fact, the current guidelines suggest that men who have had clots in their legs should not be treated with testosterone. That was probably the most important and most serious adverse event that was observed. And so Dr. Nissen says the testosterone group also experienced more kidney issues and AFib, an irregular heart rhythm. So he cautions men against using testosterone therapy unless it's truly needed, and of course recommends a conversation with your doctor.